Hello. Today I will be covering Second Class Requirements 3A and 3D. Second Class Requirement 3A requires you to demonstrate how a compass works and how to orient a map. Use a map to point out and tell the meaning of five different map symbols. Second Class Requirement 3D requires you to demonstrate how to find directions during the day and night without a compass. How to use a compass to orient your map. Hold your compass flat. Observe how it is pointing north. Rotate your map so that the north on the compass is aligned with the north in the compass rows on your map. Determine the direction and place you want to go. Map keys and legends. Each map has a different legend or key. The legend shows symbols on the map and what they signify. For the requirement, you only need to identify five symbols, but you may see more on your map. Navigating without a compass. You can use the sun to navigate without a compass, because during the beginning of the day, the sun is in the eastern part of the sky, and during the second half of the day, it is in the western part of the sky. You can use stars to find your location, because the north star is always in the northern hemisphere. You can find it by following the end of the Big Dipper, or, fi or finding the end of the Little Dipper. Using the moon. The moon rises in the northeast or southeast, and sets in the northwest or southwest. Crescent moons can point us toward where north and south are, based on their tips. Now I will demonstrate how to orient a map. First, take your compass and hold it flat. It'll point north, right now mine is pointing at an angle towards the bottom of the screen. But as you can see, the north on our map differs from the north on the compass. So we can fix this by rotating the map, and now they're both generally pointing in the same direction. Now any place on the map is in the same direction in real life. I hope this was helpful, and if you need any help, you can just email me or your patrol leader or anyone else, and I'm sure we'll all, we'll all help you. And uh, good luck.